Hello my beautiful people and welcome to this week's weekly vlog. How is everybody doing? I am feeling a bit meh. I feel very full of the cold. I have been working from home the last couple of days because we have a lot of COVID in work. So I'm really hoping that this isn't a weight manifest into COVID because I've already taken my turn this year and I don't think it's fair to have to get it again. Um, the weekend plans are... Um, today I need to go out and get a new phone charger because Gunner over ate last night and then spewed everywhere, including on my charger cable. So it, when I was plugging it into my phone, it said liquid detected. So that is kaput. So I am going to have to get a new charger because I, for some reason, don't have another one because all my other ones have had some sort of fate, whether Ziggy's chewed them or a cat has speed on them. So I need to go out and do that today. Um, I don't have any washing to do apart from one load once Daniel finishes work today because I have been on top of it and I've got all my washing done. So that is a task that I would usually do on a Saturday that is already done. So that is cool. I do have to like clean all of the rooms though, clean all the surfaces, hoover, mop, all that sort of good stuff. Got to get all that done. Um, reading wise, I am 72% of the way through Butcher and Blackbird. Uh, no, that's a total lie. I am 72% of the way through Leather and Lark, which is the second in the series of Butcher and Blackbird. I don't really know how I feel about it. I think it took me so long to figure out who we were following char character wise. I feel like I've just like missed half of the book. Um, it is good. But I definitely enjoyed the first one more because I actually understood it. And I don't know if I'm just not in the right place to understand it. I don't really know. I went into it expecting something different, I think. I think that's what the problem is. So yeah, I'm going to get that finished this week. And then I really want to start the Murderbot Diaries by Martha Wells. They're like a collection of short stories. They're sci-fi. So I want to try and binge as much of them as I can. They're all on my Kindle ready to go. I think there's seven books and then there's two, like, novellas that go with it. Can you even call them novellas? Because I think the actual books are, like, 200 and odd pages, so they're not that big at all. But, yeah, tomorrow is just a day of doing not very much, I think. Just chilling. I've got the live show tonight for Starter Villain. I'm really excited to talk about that. Last night, Daniel was watching the Scotland game. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to catch you up with. I don't think so. I think... It's been a really easy going sort of week and not a lot has happened. But yeah, it is the weekend, which is good, but it's going to be a weekend of a lot of resting because I'm just not feeling 100% and I need to heal. So yeah, welcome to this week's vlog. I forgot to say I had a lot of pain on my foot this week as well. Like the side of my foot is really swollen. Um just with my joint pain and things and like with the arthritis in my joints and I think my foot is like the new part of my body that has now cottoned on that that is going on in my body. So Daniel was working away on Thursday night and he came back yesterday and he came in with a little gift um, just because I've been feeling a bit rubbish, I've been in a lot of pain and I've just not been like 100%. So he came in with this last night and I was like, what on earth is that? Um, so I'm just going to show you a couple of the bits that he picked up for me. It's just so sweet. Um, so he got me two packets of grab bag discos, which I'm trying really hard not to eat whilst I'm at the gym because I think this is the reason why I put on so much weight. Discos and gravy are the reason I think that sitting on my bum and putting on weight was the reason for it so I have avoided them like the plague I haven't had them in ages and now I've got two temptations sitting there but never mind uh gym wise I only went to the gym once this week and I went swimming and next week I am going to be back to try to go steer four times a week but today I'm going to go for a walk so I am kind of trying to balance exercise it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to the gym all the time but anyway that was just a random update then he got me this Nightmare Before Christmas blanket. This has been in, well, throw. 
this has been in Asda for ages and I bought the Nightmare Before Christmas towels. I got the hand towels, I got the medium sized towels and I got a larger towel. So I basically bought enough of those towels to replace all the towels in our bathroom so they all match because we are doing a Tim Burton themed bathroom and it just made sense to have that. But this blanket, I just couldn't justify getting it. I've just looked, I've looked at it so many times and I was like, I just can't justify it. We've got so many blankets in the house, it would be silly if I bought another blanket. But it's been bought as a gift, so technically that is absolutely fine. And it is so soft and it's a beautiful purple colour and it's got Jack and Sally on it. So I am absolutely delighted that I have a new blanket. So yeah it's nice when you get given a gift that you've kind of wanted yourself for ages and I've never even mentioned that I wanted this before he obviously just saw it in Asda and then thought oh okay you would really like that so that's incredibly cute and then he got me a wax melt it looks like a funny face um dan got me this because the other day he knocked my wax melt burner in the hallway down and basically it shattered into a gazillion pieces so he bought me a replacement and to be fair the replacement is actually a lot better than the original i like this design a lot better um i believe this was from asda i think i'm not sure but yeah it's like a nice sage green color and i just think it's funny because it looks like it's got a face so yeah and then there's a few other little bits and pieces in there um, for like my foot and to help with pain and things. Um, so yeah, that was a cute little gift to get given yesterday. But I just thought I would I would share that with you guys. Some time has passed and I finished Leather and Lark. And I gave it five stars, which you're probably surprised by considering what I've already said about it. Basically, it took me so long to wrap my round head around who the characters were that I didn't really enjoy like the first 60% of it because I didn't know what was going on. But then for some reason it kind of just like clicked into place and it all made sense and then I loved it. So yeah, I'm away to start the first Martha Wells Murderbot series, which is All Systems Red, which is about 144 pages. So these books are really, really small. And I'm going to see how many of them I can get read this weekend. What is that? Do you have a mark on my face? No, I don't know. But I have fallen into the trap of I am in the process of watching American Horror Story and going back and watching all the seasons that I didn't watch like before. So I stopped, I stopped rather on the Roanoke one, which was season six. And I really didn't enjoy that. And I basically like was sworn off American Horror Story, pretty much erased it from my brain and just forgot it even existed. <coughs> Excuse me. But then my sister told me to watch season 12, which I did and absolutely loved. So I went back and started from season seven and started watching the seasons that I didn't watch. So season seven cult, absolutely loved it. It's very heavily political. So there's a lot of stuff about Donald Trump and things in it at the start. So the first episode was so politically heavy that I think I was really bored to start with. But once it kind of gets into it, I mean, it is heavily political, but once you get into it, you, you might really enjoy it because I did. And now I'm on season eight and that's Apocalypse. Only on season... Uh, episode two don't really know what's going on basically from what I gather there has been like an incident that happens um with missiles and things and people are going into like these outposts and it's only like the rich and people with like certain DNA that are eligible to go to these places but we're in outpost three and the things that happen in there is super weird so I have fallen down a rabbit hole and ended up watching two episodes of that instead of reading and instead of cleaning. So that's not good. But I did just take a break and tidy the kitchen and the living room because I needed to do something before Daniel came home from work. I've still got the bathroom and things to do as well. But I've just made a cup of tea. It's 10 to 2. I was going to start the Murderbot series, but I think I'm actually just going to watch one more episode of American Horror Story. I feel like this is going to be famous last words and before I know it I'm going to be finished season 8 by the end of the weekend but I am not feeling 100% and I feel like I just need to sit down and just watch something and that is what I'm going to do. My body is telling me to stop so I'm going to stop even though sitting on my butt and reading is also stopping I've got a bit of a sore head so 
the best thing for me to do is put my glasses on and to watch an episode of American Horror Story, which is probably ridiculous, but it does work. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go do that and then I'll check in again with you guys later on. I'm literally back after a second of filming that clip. I didn't tell you that I finished the audiobook of The Hobbit. Basically, that was a Society of Spines book club pick in like, I want to say like February or March or something. And that's me just finishing it now. The audiobook by Andy Serkis is absolutely spectacular. It is so good. He does all the voices. He sings all the songs. It was just a really enjoyable audiobook. I don't sit well with audiobooks unless I've read the book before. So I wasn't sure how I'd feel about The Hobbit because I have read it before, but it's been a while. But it was really good and I gave that five stars. So I've actually completed two books this week, which is pretty impressive. But I am still like five or four books behind schedule on Goodreads, which is infuriating because I've only read 25 books out of 65, I think. I think I've read 25 books. So if I can blast out a couple of these murder bots, I should almost be on schedule. I don't think I'm going to read 65 books this year, but I did read a lot of books last year. So we're just going to have to wait and see how the year unfolds. And in summertime, I do read a lot because it's summer and I have holidays then. So just have to wait and see. Good morning, my beautiful people. It is really early in the morning. It is quarter to eight on Sunday morning and we are dressed and we are ready to go outside into the world. And we are going to a place called Dainston Market, which is like a big, massive car boot sale. Um, just to have a rummage and kind of see what's going on. You can also get like a pretty good breakfast, like in the inside, like Mart area in um, where it's held. The only thing is, it's absolutely pouring with rain, so I really hope that that doesn't mean that a lot of people don't want to come in Carboot anymore. Um, but Aberdeen, it does rain all the time, so it would be cancelled all the time if people didn't come because of the rain. So, fingers crossed, it's not too bad, kind of like out that way, because it's like about 40 minutes away from here. So yeah, we are just getting ready to rock and roll, and then I will come back and show you what we've got. The thing with Carboot sales is... It's literally, you could find anything. It's a bit like a charity shop, but it's not because this is just people cleaning stuff out of their houses. Like this isn't people in charity shops going through stuff, seeing what stuff is worth value and then moving it to the side or making it really expensive. This is people literally taking it out of their houses, putting it next to their car and then selling it. So no one else is like rummaged through that. So it's pretty exciting. But yeah, there's nothing in particular that I'm looking for, um, to be honest. So we've just got to kind of wait and see kind of what things we're going to see. Daniel has never been to this car boot sale before, um, so I'm quite excited for him to see it. I told my mum and my stepdad last night that we were going and they were both really jealous because us three used to go and do that together like years and years ago. Um because my stepdad collects like vintage games and like gaming stuff so he used to go there and like rummage and he always used to come out with like the best finds and he was like we were there for when people were unpacking stuff out of their car like he had to be there for that so yeah we are gonna go off and do that and I will take you guys with me possibly it depends because it's probably a really weird place to film but we'll wait and see <laughs> We have arrived at the car boot sale and it's not good, is it, Tessa? No. <laughs> um, it is pouring with rain and, I mean, there is car boots here. Five. Yeah. <laughs> and they're all in, like, a little indoor bit. And, yeah. It's not spectacular. And then I've just said to Daniel, well, at least we'll get a good breakfast. I'm not actually sure that's gonna happen now. So we've just drove all the way out here for no reason, I feel. 
Um. Because it's Sunday. I got up at 7 o'clock. He, he did. That's super early. Because someone's phoning someone. Yeah, two cars have came and one's left and the other one's almost left. Mm. Oh, there's a van. No, oh, oh, a van. A oh, optimism. Come. That might be full of good stuff. No, it's full of optimism. Yeah. Let's go. I don't really know what to say. This isn't how I remember it. It used to be like rows and rows of cars and I don't know if it's just because it's raining. But surely not. Like I've been here in the pissing rain before and people just were hardy and just dealt with it. But apparently that's not a thing that happens. But I haven't been here since before lockdown, so yeah. I don't know what to do. Well, we're gonna wait it out, I think, until nine o'clock. Yeah, because yeah. apparently it opens at nine now. It used to open at eight. We'll see if it gets livelier. If not, we'll attempt to go and speak to someone and possibly get some breakfast. Yeah. And then start our descent. If the breakfast is open, it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. So then it won't be wasted. And then if it is wasted, we're going to have to go to Inverary. Do they have a cafe in the Tesco? I mean, I could have woke up at 10 o'clock and had a fry up at home. Could have. <laughs> but the adventure would not have been as fun. <laughs> oh, yes. Riveting. Yes. Okay, well, we're going to wait out and see what happens. I do have a cup of tea with me, so I'm sorry, but I should have taken our books with us. Hello, my beautiful people. I am ending the vlog. It is 20 past eight. Today was a day. So we ended up going to the Thainston market and told you about the whole thing. There was only six cars. We did get out and have a look, but it wasn't great. So we ended up then going into Inverurie, which is like the town that Thainston is in, and we got Greg's breakfast. So not the breakfast that Daniel was hoping, but we still got breakfast nonetheless. And then we went to Tesco to check if they had Yu-Gi-Oh cards for Daniel, because this is Daniel's new obsession. They didn't have an Inverurie. So we then came back to Aberdeen. We went to M&S to get a couple of food bits because they still had a voucher and then went to Tesco in Aberdeen, got more Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I actually got Daniel some for Father's Day because on Father's Day and Mother's Day we give each other a little gift and a card because we've got the cats. It's probably really sad but that's what we do. Um, So did that and then we went to Daniel's mum and dad's for Father's Day because my dad is away on holiday um so yeah that is pretty much what we did we came back and had a nap from about half past three until seven o'clock so i'm probably not going to be able to sleep well tonight at all but never mind i am working from home tomorrow so so i can stay up a little bit later so it's not too bad reading wise i got 10 percent through of the 10% of the way through the first in the Murderbot series. I really didn't read as much as I thought I was going to, but we had a fun packed day, so can't really complain. Currently, the England Serbia game is on, so Daniel is sitting watching that, and I'm going to try and get some reading done. But I just wanted to come on and end the vlog here, and I hope you've all had a lovely week or weekend, or day, evening, afternoon, whatever time you're watching this, and I'll see you next week, same time, same place. Bye bye. Thank you.